everyone, I'd like to go over a simple video today where I'm going to go over the type of batteries that I would recommend when it comes to installing batteries for your solar battery backup system for your uh, for your container homes. And so what I'm going to be doing is uh, going over the ones that we have used, but also batteries that we'd like to use in the future. And then also I'm going to go over some inverters that I would also recommend. Um, so yeah, let's just get started. Uh, so primarily right now today, I use the Renogy AGM 12-volt uh, batteries. And I don't get like the regular solar batteries that are like the size of a car battery, if you have seen those. But I really like using these large, hefty batteries. They're really heavy, but um, it's just I use a lot less wires because I only have to use those two plugs right there um, for these Renogy batteries. But oh my goodness, they're very heavy but they're much more affordable and they're high quality. They're about 369 bucks. Um, you can also get this on Amazon and uh, they just work really, really well. I've had a lot of success with Renogy batteries. I have used some other deep cycle, uh, age, uh, deep cycle batteries from other brands, but uh, Renogy has always been good and I also like their customer support. So if there are any issues whatsoever, I can get Renogy to respond back to me very, very quickly. So the next battery that I really do like and recommend is Amper Time. Amper Time is a, um, basically like the same size. This battery is the same size as this Renogy battery. But the thing about Amper Time, I really like about this is that the thing about our solar kits, we're trying to save as much space as possible to put these in our shipping container homes and get you more living space. And I have found that Amper Time sells a lithium battery. So this is not just a typical AGM battery now. This is an, a lithium Life Pro, uh, Life Pro battery. And um, this battery has 400 amp hours, if you see there. Now, generally a smaller, uh, typical battery uh, solar battery that is the size of a car battery is about 100 amp hours but this Renogy battery is running on if you see right there 200 amp hours on 12 volts but the amper time is running on 400 amp hours of uh with on a 12 volt battery that's pretty impressive that they were able to fit all that inside of this battery uh, but they're not cheap this is about eighteen hundred dollars and this is three hundred and sixty nine dollars so even if i double this to be 400 amp hours of batteries it's i'll well, just say uh it's less than 800 bucks it's like maybe 750 bucks but with this one it's more than twice the cost far more than twice the cost but lithium batteries are much more superior. But the thing I like to share with you guys about lithium batteries, they do have a longer lifespan and they do much better at charging. And uh, there's just a lot of additional good factors to these batteries. And they're much lighter. They're like half the weight of these AGM batteries, half the weight. So it's a lot easier for me to carry these guys compared to the Renogy's. But the thing about lithium batteries, it's just so doggone expensive that I do about um, 2,000 amp hours on a shipping container home, on a 40 foot shipping container home. But 2,000 amp hours, that's uh, a lot of money that I gotta spend to, get, uh, to make this work out. And so that means, um, uh, pretty much I got to spend about uh, around $10,000 of batteries, which is ridiculous. And so many of my customers just don't want to have to spend that much money. But again, guys, all to, in my opinion, they're still both really good batteries, Renogy and Amper Time. But um, in my humble opinion, I really recommend stick with the Renogies. You have more weight in your container, but you're not really going to be transporting it really hopefully hardly ever unless you have a camper an off-grid camper that we build 
Or off-grid campers, I do recommend the Amper Time batteries. But if you have a shipping container home or a semi-trailer conversion that we do, then stick with through the Renogies. And I'm telling you guys this. In about, give it five years from now, solar technology is huge right now. Like the government spending a crap load of money on it. Companies are spending a crap load of money on it. That we too are spending a ton of money on this industry. Technology is definitely changing. And I hope that we'll continue to progress exponentially on the battery technology. Because batteries tend to be the biggest weakness we have in solar technology. You know, my solar panels can charge my batteries in about three hours, but the biggest hurdle is trying to get more power stored inside of these things. So the reason why I'm telling you this is that if you give, uh, give these five years of life, and even though these are made to last 10 to 15 years, but in five years from now, I bet this battery will be a dinosaur by then. They may have a battery that could hold five times more energy with half the size of this battery in five years from now. That's just my guess. But the way the technology is progressing, I would not be surprised. You're going to get half the battery for half the cost with uh, that could hold two or three or five times much energy. Depends on how quick our technology is progressing. So that means... Do you want to spend twice as much more or more than twice as much money on something like this just to save a little bit on weight and efficiency or get an affordable battery in five to 10 years, you can get something for a fraction of the cost that's going to give you way, way more better power storage. And all you got to do is switch to positive and negatives. Hopefully that's what the technology will do in the future. So that, that's my recommendation, guys, when it comes to lithiums and AGM deep cycle batteries, is that I would recommend these types for now. But if you do feel you want to spend more money and get a lot more efficiency, then go with the, the 400 amp hours. Now, the next battery I like to go over is Battleborn. Battleborn has been really bit good battery that many many people recommend but for some reason i think i'm one of the black sheep that has had bad luck with them i purchased a lot of battleborn batteries and used them for my customers they're not cheap uh so this one's 270 amp hours and this one's 400 amp hours for 1800 dollars. but this is 2300 dollars for only 270 amp hours for a 12 volt battery but battleborn is supposed to be a highly efficient battery a lot of people stand by him but for some reason um we've had issues with some of the batteries about one out of every 10 that i purchase uh ends up having issues i call customer support and it becomes a mess and it's like pulling teeth to get uh, have them refund me or get me a replacement so i really don't like the company so that's why I want to bring them up because they're supposed to be a really highly respected company for lithium batteries, but they have rubbed me the long, wrong way that that's why I recommend Amper Time over Battleborn. All right. So that's what, uh, th that's, that's what I recommend when it comes to lithium batteries is Amper Time. Now, when it comes to inverters, I've tested a lot of inverters um, in the past. And um, I don't know why this has disappeared. Give me a second here. Let's go back to GrowWatt. GrowWatt is basically my recommendation on inverters. Um, they have really good inverters for GrowWatt. I've tried many other brands out there, uh, but for some reason, GrowWatt has always been the most reliable inverter on the market. And uh, and so basically I use their commercial grade inverters that can run up to even up to about 100 amp hour, uh, 100 amps on a breaker box. So on my house personally, we use two of their inverters and let's actually go over to their products. I use two of their inverters on my own house that I could run everything electric powered from 
my uh, my bat, uh, my basically my stove, my heating, my cooling, everything in the house is electric powered. So, um, and so these are some of the inverters they have, but this is the inverters you have seen on my units. And I really stand by these inverters. Actually, that's the 4,000. Um, this is the one I generally use, sorry. But this is the one I'd use on my container homes that I really stand by. Uh, they're more of a commercial grade. Uh, they've done anything and everything on my units. And we could run up to basically four appliances at once. Usually on a lot of campers, when they put want to run on solar, you can't really run very many appliances on their inverters. So that's why I stand by this Growatt inverter because it has been exceptionally efficient on everything I built. And we probably installed over 30 of these and they've been incredible. Um, I think the, the other inverter I used before this that I really did enjoy was the MPPT inverters, but this is what I recommend today. Now, here is my, uh, here is the next inverter that I really would like to jump into. You guys might see me start using this. I'm, I participate in a lot of solar forums where we basically, um, uh, uh, I, I talk to a lot of, you know, nerds on the internet where we talk about different technologies for solar and a lot of solar guys that I've been correlating with are using this inverter right now. This has been a pretty big deal. They've been standing by the, uh, the EG4. And so what I like to do is I've already purchased this and I'm gonna be testing it on a few homes. And if it keeps, if it does work better than the grow out inverter, we will be uh, transitioning onto this one. So, um, but yeah, I, I just thought I might make this video and just, uh, just speak casually to you about what are the batteries we primarily use, like the Renogies or the Amper Time, and what are the inverters we use uh, from Growatt, and or what are we going to start using in the future, like EG4. So if you do have any questions, let me know. But if not, uh, I please welcome you to subscribe and just welcome you to watch our other videos, and we'll continue to educate you on the further technology and items that we'll use on our future units. Again, thank you so much. You have a wonderful day.